So let's say that we are a credit card company that is looking to partner with more merchants uh, to accept our credit card. So we have 100,000 small businesses that we can reach out to that we have leads for, but we only have the manpower to reach out to, let's say, around 1,000 of them. So how would you build a strategy to find the best businesses to reach out to? So usually, like, we would look at a couple of things when we are deciding, like, uh, which merchants we want to prioritize so the first thing is the response rate that like which businesses are more likely to respond or like take up on our offer so let's say like there is a business which we have like a five percent a five percent chance that like if we reach out to them they'll uh, become uh part they'll partner with us and then there's another business which has like a one percent chance so given like if everything else is the same we would want to go after the business where we have a 5% chance of uh, partnering with. So that is the first thing we consider, the response rate. And uh, the second thing which we consider is the lifetime value of the business. So again, right. like going back to the uh, example which I just said. So let's say now there's a 5% ch business with a 5% chance and then there's a business with a like a 1% chance of partnering with us. But let's say like the annual revenue of business with 5% chance is $100,000. And mm -hmm. the annual revenue of the business with 1% chance is like a million dollars. Then we might want to go after the business where even though like we have 1% chance, but if we acquire, like there's a huge lifetime value difference in those two businesses. So these are like the two things we consider. And usually it can be like a metric created using like both of these factors, the response rate and the lifetime value. Uh, which takes in both both of these factors and then like gives value that like where like you have like more value in going after the business so okay. yeah that makes sense so if we started out with the response rate um i guess one question i have is like how do you decide how do you know which one will give you like a five percent chance of closing versus a one percent chance of closing yeah so that's a good question uh so the way uh we do it is usually like look alike modeling so we already have data of people we have reached out in the past and how they have responded. So we can create a lookalike model. Let's say like we can create a, like a logistic regression model or a decision tree for those businesses. And like we try to predict like what is the probability that if we reach out to that business, it will partner with us. And uh, so we can build a logistic regression now. Some of the features in the model can be what industry the business is in what location or zip the business is in what is the uh size of the business let's say that it's it's a company with like two people and then that much business going on so like the size of the business the annual revenue of the business so i'll, I'll just write these things down so it can, it can be uh -huh. like industry zip or location number of employees or like which is a proxy for size annual revenue so yeah like these can be like some of the features which we can take and using our like uh, existing data of uh potential businesses which we have reached out in the past we can create a local like modeling and then uh for the new hundred thousand businesses we can uh try to predict given like these features for a particular business what is the probability that the business will uh, partner with us so that is how we can get like response rates okay cool and so let's say that we implement this model, right? And we have the LTV, I'm guessing a model for that as well, based on historical data, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so we implement it. Then how do we kind of start measuring our success of what's happening in the strategy? Like people start calling them, people start cold emailing them. How do we iterate on that? So let's say now like we have models for both. We have models for the lifetime value and we have models for response rates. And then let's say we are looking at the product of these two, that uh, if there is a 5% chance and the lifetime value is 100,000, then we can create a compound matrix, which like we multiply both of these. So 5% times 100,000 is like 5,000. So that mm -hmm. is the value for one particular business. And let's say like we have that kind of a number for all the businesses. Now, in order to see whether our strategy is working or not, we can again do like something similar to like an A-B testing. We can, mm -hmm. let's say we split our like universe of 100,000 businesses into two groups. Uh, one with like 
like one with let's say like 90 or 95000 businesses in one group where we go based on our like the metric the compound metric which we have created that wh whoever is the top like 1000 in that group we go after that and then in the remaining 5000 we just start going after randomly gotcha and then we see in two groups like what the success looks like so that is like one way we can validate whether like our strategy is uh working or not okay so kind of just creating like two separate um groups and then looking at the difference in the control versus like our new strategy right yeah okay yeah that makes a lot of sense uh but i think one thing that i've noticed practically speaking is that like the sales cycle kind of takes a long time with maybe outreach right and so getting feedback on this might take a bit of time is there any way that we could speed up feedback so that we know that within like let's say even like the first seven days that we need to adjust our strategy or something like that like what if our model was kind of like our response rate is suddenly a lot lower than we predicted and then like the closing rate after we jump in with them is a lot higher or maybe a lot lower do we kind of adjust going forward or i guess kind of like then implementation step or kind of adjustment step that needs to be done after that uh just to get a quicker feedback um instead of like kind of waiting until you know like all 1000 sales are kind of closed and then we kind of compare it i mean we can start with like a smaller sample size we can like have let's say 500 businesses where we are like targeting using our like uh strategy and then we have like 50 other businesses where we are just going randomly like obviously like this 550 like that those numbers will have to come up in a way that the change which we see is like statistically significant but like we can start with a smaller sample size we don't have to like implement the whole strategy on the 100,000 businesses but something which we can cover in like let's say a like couple of weeks and gotcha. that way we can see uh that how uh effective our strategy is uh, cool. you want like a smaller sample yeah 